Um, and if you were to, in fact, uh, look for the figures, the matter that we settled with vets to start with was uh, 3,995,000. 3, one hundred and twenty one and as I've already indicated we don't have any outstanding matters um, that are being handled by the vets law clinic in relation to matters that um, um, uh, Siri dealt with socioeconomic rights Institute um, I can report as I've already indicated that um, in fact um, I made a mistake it's 36 uh, matters that were in fact preferred against the state 35 of which have settled uh, and the quantum of the amount that has been paid to date, it's 69 million zero eight three zero zero five. So that is 69 million and 83,000 rands. And that amount has been paid. It is confirmed as having been paid. Um, I will come back to the claims by the um, Socioeconomic Rights Institute of South Africa because there is something that, in fact, um, is another leg of what they believe should be compensated for. So if you were to invoke the once and for all rule, you would actually accept that having paid this the, the just under 70 million rand on behalf of the 35 uh, uh, families the matter would have been resolved uh, but not so because um, 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 the socio-economic rights institute came back to us and said um, it needed what it calls general and constitutional damages for and on behalf of all the 36 uh, claimants. Now, general and, uh, and uh, constitutional um, damages is not something that is easy to quantify. It's very difficult to quantify, but we needed to be reasonable under the circumstances. And to the extent necessary, we believe that we, as the state, we needed to approach this matter uh, with some degree of uh, humanity. Uh, and without prejudice, we then said we are prepared as government, as the state, uh, to pay to all the claimants that were represented by the Socio-Economic uh, Rights Institute an additional 500,000 rand without prejudice, of course. Um, um, uh, that claim for the general and constitutional damages is still in court, but we needed to offer 500,000 rand pay family. Um, um, and that offer has been rejected. I think it must be placed on record that that offer has been rejected. Um, in fact, a counter offer um, was uh, that they needed um, uh, 1.5 million per each of the claimants that they were representing. And that is where the statement is. Uh, and also accept the fact that um, uh, the offer by the state of the additional 500,000 rand comes against the backdrop that we've already paid under 70 million rand. And if you invoke the once and for all rule, you would not actually look back. But we are saying we are dealing with human beings here, and these are matters of importance. Um, and the 500,000 rand that we are offering has been um, solely in the spirit of good faith uh, to, the, uh, uh, to those that in fact might have lost their loved ones.